Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. Today we'll be discussing whether or not witches and wizards who have become animagi can change their animal form. An animagus in the Harry Potter universe is a witch or wizard who has the ability to transform themselves into a specific animal at will. It's a rather uncommon skill that requires a great deal of education, practice, and commitment to achieve. It's also important to note that the animal a person transforms into is not influenced by the individual's choice or preference, but rather it reflects their personality and inner traits. For example, the brave and loyal Sirius Black was an animagus who could transform into a large black dog, while the cunning and resourceful Rita Skeeter had the ability to turn into a beetle, an insect often associated with spying and eavesdropping. Minerva McGonagall, on the other hand, a character known for her wisdom and dignity, could transform into a cat. Now, how does one become an animagus? I'm so glad you asked. As a rather complex and dangerous ordeal, the process to become an animagus can be fatal if not done correctly. And so, in addition to the skill and incredible amount of studying in both transfiguration and potions that's required, obtaining the ability to change into an animal form at will involves a very lengthy and somewhat complicated series of steps, which are as follows. 1. Firstly, one must hold the leaf of a mandrake in their mouth for an entire lunar cycle, from one full moon to another, which is typically the length of one month's time. This is a test of patience and endurance, as the mandrake leaf must not be swallowed or taken out of the person's mouth at any point, or the process must be started again from the beginning. 2. Following this, the witch or wizard must place the leaf, now infused with their saliva, and a strand of their hair in a crystal vial that receives the pure rays of the moon. The individual must then add a silver teaspoon of dew from somewhere that's been untouched by light or living beings for at least an entire week, as well as the chrysalis of a death's head hawk moth. The potion then needs to be put away somewhere dark and quiet, only to be retrieved during the next lightning storm. 3. While waiting for a storm to brew, the witch or wizard must say the incantation Amato Animo Animato Animagus twice a day at sunrise and sunset while placing the tip of their wand over their heart. 4. The fourth and final stage takes place when a lightning storm finally arrives. The individual must drink the potion, which will now appear blood red, and once more recite the incantation Amato Animo Animato Animagus with their wand against their heart. At this point, the individual is likely to feel intense pain and the emergence of a double heartbeat, representing that of their own and their animal form. After completing these four precise and very dangerous steps, the witch or wizard in question has successfully become an animagus and can transform into their animal form at will. Of course, as mentioned, the type of animal is not their choice and instead is based on their inherent traits. As with all animagi, once the process has been successfully completed, they are then required by wizardry law to register with the Ministry of Magic. In theory, this is to prevent misuse of the ability to engage in illegal activities. However, several characters in the series, like Sirius Black and James Potter, do not follow this rule and remain unregistered. These particular wizards did so in order to help keep their friend Remus Lupin secret that he was a werewolf, but it clearly also had the advantage of allowing them a very effective means of concealment and a unique method of communication. But now that we've covered all that, once a witch or wizard does become an animagus, can they change the animal form that has been assigned to them? Well, if we were to rely on canon, which I do, the answer to this question seems to be a pretty concrete no. There are simply zero instances in Harry Potter of a witch or wizard changing their animagus. Each character we meet who is revealed to be an animagus retains their specific animal form throughout the entirety of the series, the process of becoming an animagus is also said to be irreversible, meaning once an individual has mastered the transformation into a specific animal, they cannot change the type or species. In addition, animagi are highly regulated by the Ministry of Magic, reinforcing the idea that a witch or wizard cannot change their animagus once it has been established, for if it did, there'd likely be a stipulation about updating an altered animagus animal alongside those registration requirements. So, it seems that whichever animal a person becomes the first time they successfully transform into their animagus is definitively set. But, while I don't believe it is indeed possible for an animagus to take on multiple animal forms throughout their life, 
I did want to share a few fan theories before we end today's video that I thought were worth noting. One of the most prevalent theories among fans is the idea that a witch or wizard could go through a rebirth of sorts, which would result in a new animal form for an animagus. It's thought that by undergoing a significant personal transformation or experiencing a life-altering event, a person could potentially change what they transform into. This theory seems to be closely associated with the canonical knowledge that a person's Patronus can change based on their experiences or emotions, such as with Nymphadora Tonks Patronus when she develops feelings for Remus Lupin. Of course, this theory is purely speculative and has no direct evidence in the Harry Potter series. Another theory that is circulated among fans is the idea that highly skilled witches and wizards could potentially learn to transform into more than one animal. The idea here is that with enough studying, someone could technically figure out how to perform the process of becoming an animagus more than once and to create a third or fourth. Although I think it's important to remember that becoming an animagus just the once is extremely complex and dangerous, which could make mastering multiple forms unlikely. Then there's the theory of influence. Another interesting concept, this theory suggests that a witch or wizard could potentially change their animagus form through sheer will by intensely studying and concentrating on a specific animal. Once again, this idea seems to be based on the idea that magic in the wizarding world is heavily influenced by the mind and the emotions of the witch or wizard, as with the Patronus charm. That said, this theory directly contradicts that an animagus form is not chosen by the individual, but instead reflects their personality and traits. Lastly, there's the idea that a witch or wizard gifted at potion making could change their animagus by creating an altered potion for the transformation process. However, this theory is highly speculative as it would be incredibly risky to tamper with a potion that is already described as extremely difficult to brew correctly. Any alterations could potentially have disastrous and once again fatal consequences. And with that, we've come to the end of today's video. What did you think? Do you agree that it's impossible for a witch or wizard to change their animagus form? What did you think of the fan theories that I shared? Do you agree with any of them? Please share your thoughts in the comments below, and as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, remember, it does not do to dwell on dreams and to forget to live.